Hello, I'm Sakiwea Ooms and I'm studying science communication. Today I am on the campus of Utrecht where the summer schools are taking place. The summer schools in Utrecht are the biggest in Europe, even bigger than Cambridge and Oxford, with about 1500 students. Today I will show you the summer school in science. I'm on my way to the lecture of Frank Witte. He is a teacher in theoretical physics. I'm quite unsure what it's all about. I will see. The lecture has started already, so we have to be quiet now. In the summer school in theoretical physics, we lecture to the students every day from 9 to 5. Uh, with with breaks. That's quite tough. Yes, so it's it's not a holiday. It's like a whole lot of, lot of information crammed into two weeks. It's like a boot camp to uh, <laughs> prepare you for your master. Everybody's here to have a good time with physics. And uh, uh, that is just very nice to be a part of. So physics is a very international business. Uh, we're sort of a small community yeah. compared to, uh, say, the banking communities. Uh, but we're equally international, at least. All right. Today I'm going to teach about basic uh, fluid dynamics, uh, so that will be the first time that the students will hear about the basic equations that we use for making weather predictions, explaining phenomena in atmosphere and ocean. So sometimes people talk about uh, phenomenological uh, aspects, so uh, how do weather patterns look like. Uh, another person talks more about the fundamental processes and so on. So they learn a lot and they learn each other, they work together and the atmosphere is very good. People have an idea about astronomy of people gazing through a telescope and suddenly telescopes are still being used and of course observations sort of are our bread and butter because without the observations you cannot do any astronomy. But in Utrecht we also have a lot of emphasis on the underlying physics. Essentially what they're talking about is the life and death of stars. And I think lots of us here do that sort of thing or would like to get into that sort of thing. So it gives a very good primer to get into this field, exciting area of research. One third of the population in Utrecht are students and a lot of them get their lessons right here on the university campus. This big black building behind me is the academic library. This building is at Van Unique and there is the Casa Confetti. And this is the basket, the biggest restaurant on the university campus. And this nice building is the Eudicatorium. So what we wanted to do today was actually not only give them a couple of lectures or stuff like that because you know I'm sure you sit through lectures quite a lot but we actually wanted to, it's a bit, a bit simple but actually get them to mix up some materials and really get some hands on experience of making these materials. We're just trying to show these guys that uh, this kind of chemistry is actually relevant both from a sort of theoretical point of view, so learning what's going on with diffraction and things, from, from a practical point of view for making it, and it's also going to be important industrially. Do you all also have the feeling that you are building up a network? Oh, sure. oh definitely. Yes. Definitely. Okay. Not, not, not just with, with the faculty, but with all the other students, you know, you master students, people that are definitely going to be going on. Uh, a lot of good scientists and people interested in nanotechnology and nanomaterials. And Perfect. That's fine. More than yeah. It's okay. What are you doing exactly? All the students are uh, supposed to form groups of three to five people and work for most of the summer school on a particular project that can be 
looking at a particular tool and trying to understand that and play with it and uh, presenting it to the other participants in the end at a little mini symposium or it can be developing uh, a small applications using the techniques that we teach at the summer school. Why are you giving this course? So I am one of the say, leading people in this field. Um, there are three people who are supervisors here on this, in this field. Dynamical systems is uh, a field with, many, with a lot of theory and a lot of applications. Fundamental uh, say, theory, which is what we do here today, that is Hamiltonian dynamics. It is very old already, started 200 years ago. And then there is the, the practical side, that is put everything in the computer and, and see what happens. My new friends, they come from Izgena and they, they come from Istorki. How do you like it, sir? Oh, Utrecht is great. Here are my friends that all of us is Iranians and uh, our uh, professor, Kukhendai. We've done a lot of hard mathematics and calculations today, but I mean, it's, it's part of our, our lives, our study. Here I am, one week later, at the last day of two weeks summer school. The students have prepared a presentation which they have to present today. Uh, this is the most difficult part of the whole two, two weeks. It's not the, the lectures, it's not the presentation. It's my attempt to pronounce your names. <laughs> <laughs> and in fact, I, I'm not going to even try. I'm going to work with your Christian names, the first name. Gerardo. Pablo. Congratulations. Arnold. This is the end of two weeks summer school. I've seen passionate students and inspiring teachers. In my opinion, it's hard work, but also a lot of fun and a great way of making new friends. I also think it's a valuable international experience and I hope to see you next year. <laughs>